What's up, my friends? Welcome back to a new Dive in Life tutorial. My name is Camille Dama, your online Ableton certified trainer. And um, today we're going to have a look at uh, Lection, uh, a track that I made with my friend Ari. It's also currently sitting in the charts. I think it's number 13 in the Deep House um, Top 100 releases. And it's just entering the hype, so it's nice. I hope it goes up. And I wanted to show you today how to layer kicks in this one. So I'm going to play it here from the break so you can have a little listen to the track. And then I'll break down layering, how to layer the kicks. So this is the track and um, I want to show you today how the kick sounds in the mix without the high layer that we have. So you can see we have one kick here, a little bit low and you know, it's uh, we cut it at 37.5 hertz because you know the kick is somewhere around 50, 55 because it's in, in the key of A. So the whole track is in A, so if the kick's in A, that's nice, then, you know, it, it's in key with the track. And this is the low end. We've cut a little bit around the 200. Usually I find around 200 to 300, maybe sometimes 150 to 300. You find some low end in the kick that you can, that you can get rid of to make space for the bass or other sounds in the low mid-range, like low stabs. We got a lot of stabs going on here. You know, these guys, these are very warm in the low end, so it's nice to to have these, um, uh, have a little space for these. So therefore we make a little cut here. Um, then we have this kick, which is just normal. But there's a really nice tick in this. So if we filter that, it means we're using the tick of this one together with this guy. So first the low one, and then with the tick, it gives it a nice little tick and check out what it does in the mix when I mute this one and then add it in. So the, the track without the high kick. So you can really hear that this, this kick adds a lot of tick in the kick, especially like just the, the high end. So the kick is perceived sort of like louder or more present in the mix than uh, than if it wasn't there. So again, I'll do eight without and eight with in another part of the track. So you can really hear what a different depth makes in, in the track and it's just using one kick and using the other kick. And this kick is a little bit dull, doesn't have a lot of high frequencies. You see there's not much here. So therefore we use this guy to add a little bit there. So I hope this was helpful. If you like the tutorial, please leave a comment below. Uh, if you like what I do, check out lessonsinlife.com uh, where I do all my courses. I have a lot of private students, you can join that. If you wanna buy this track, it's on sale now. Beatport's been released uh, since a week. So um, please help it up the chart if you want, if you like it. And um, follow me on patreon.com uh, slash lessonsinlife as well, where I have a dojo uh, currently with about 34, 35 people. And we do feedback sessions, masterclasses and whatnot. So if you wanna join and you wanna see the full track breakdown of this track then uh, please join we're doing it next month in august okie dokie have a nice day see you at the next one